Hello! Merry Christmas! Or a couple of days after Christmas when this is going up. I'm actually filming this a couple of days before Christmas, but me and Jake are away for Christmas and I'm not lugging all of these where we're going for Christmas for then I have to bring it all back. So I have a lot of parcels that have arrived over the last few weeks and as soon as December hit they were all going under the Christmas tree. So I've been accumulating these for the past month and there's a fair few of them. Some of these I know who they're from, some of these I do not. Most of these will have come from my Amazon wish list and some have come from friends and such. Soppy moment incoming. I cannot put into words how incredibly grateful I am for this community and everything that this community has done for me and meant for me in the last year. Like, it's a little bit wild. The relationships and friendships that I have built with this community, and my heart goes to so many of you who constantly interact and are just the most amazing people. I just adore all of you. And there is never any need for anyone to send me anything because honestly your support and your friendship, your comments etc all mean so much to me as it is. So there is never a need for this but to those of you who have you just go above and beyond and I am so overwhelmingly grateful for this and I just I just love you all and I hope you've all had a fantastic Christmas and stuff as well. Soppy moment over though um, I'm eager to dig in and see what we got. Obviously, as I say, most of this has come from my wish list, so there shouldn't be too many surprises in here. Shall we just start with the top one? Number one. This is Starfell. Yes, it's from Emma. Uh, Merry Christmas, Jade. Had to get you this, of course. The hidden cover is my favourite from Emma. This is actually book number three, because book number two couldn't go to a book to a gift registry, but let's see why. <gasps> oh, the naked cover is beautiful. That is something else. Um, but Starfell is one of Emma's favourite books and I recently read it and wanted to get the sequels, so it makes perfect sense for Emma to get me the next book that she could. So thank you so much, Emma, for this. Um, I won't be going into detail about what these books are about because will be here for a while. Ah, oh, this one was already opened because we thought it was something else, but I put it away. From Farina, thank you so much Farina for, oh, I'm really excited about this, Winter Tales, written by Dawn Casey, illustrated by Zana Col Goldhawk, at uh, stories from around the world, Winter Tales. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it so much. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, for Farina, for that one. That is going to be perfect read for very soon, most likely. Next. This is from Cece, obviously. Cece. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Thank you for being you all. You're amazing. You make me feel accepted in the community. Cece, you are a massive part of this community and I value you endlessly. I can't get into this gift bag though because they've tied it too tightly. Ooh, 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 ooh. this is, <gasps> this is a planner? This is a Clever Fox planner. <gasps> Have you got me my planner? You've got me my planner for the next year. Ah, I'm so excited. I went for a gray one. Thank you so much, Cece. Massive fan of Clever Fox planners. They're the planners I have been using for the last three years. I really like them. Thank you so much Cece. You do too much for me as it is. You never need to do anything more. Oh it's chocolate! It's food! It's food! From Harry! It's food! <laughs> Thanks Harry! If I'd known it was food I would have perhaps not stored these so close to the radiator <laughs> but it seems to all be in one piece. I am gonna eat this very soon. Thank you so much, Harry. Oh, these ones are stuck together. I guess we'll go for this one. This is from Kathleen. I uh, hope you love this and puts a smile on your face. I'm really intrigued by it. 
and have a very Merry Christmas from Kathleen. And we have the Black Hawks. Hold on. Beautiful. That is such a flop. Um, this I am interested in. I think it was Steph that mentioned it to me, but it's got like similar vibes to Kings of the Wild, uh, the Great Coats, things like that, but like band of people, political war fantasy thing. Bound by oath to a dead end job in the service of a lazy step uncle, shall no longer dreams of glory, he dreams of going home. Oh, there's chaos. Prince needs to get to safety. Ruthless assassins, killers on the trail. Mercenaries, fighters without equal, a squabbling, scrapping pack of rogues. I'm really excited by this. So thank you so much, Kathleen, for this one. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading it. Next. Oh, from Darian. Merry Christmas, Jade. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year from Darian. Thank you so much you sweetie and we have got oh king of ashes by raymond feist i picked this one up in waterstones not that long ago i think it was when i was was with steph actually and we went into waterstones and it really piqued my interest so i popped it on my wish list um volume one of the fire main saga so this is a much bigger series but again political fantasy basically where my heart's gone this year is chunky political adult fantasy so more of that <laughs> yeah this is from harry merry christmas from harry thank you harry for not only the chocolate but also oh homesick pilots i can't remember where i saw this recommendation but it looked really cool the art looks really cool and I'm always looking for more graphic novels. Um, a Haunted House Walks Across California. Ooh, lead singer of a high school punk band. Um, has been missing for weeks, but how did she get there? Uh, what do the ghosts want? And what does this mean? Um, and does this mean the band has to break up? So high school punk band in a haunted house. Sounds great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Harry, for this one. I can't remember where I saw the recommendation, though, which is going to bug me. Oh, yeah. This is from Megan. Thank you so much, Megan. Uh, Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoy this one and have the best holiday season from Megan. Thank you so much. And this is Hookie. <laughs> this is one that Steph got for her birthday when I was there. And I was like, wow, I want to read that. It just looks like a fun, magical time. Two twins, one prophecy, a whole lot of hijinks. They miss the bus to magic school. Uh, are declared traitors to their own kind, mishaps with a dragon, a broken broom, a high profile prisoner, um, and their face ends up on wanted posters. It just sounds like absolute mayhem, but also just looks adorable. So I'm really excited about this one. Thank you so much, Megan, for this. Next, let's go for this one. This one's been opened because we had ordered something, but we got Jake to open it, so he knows what's in here. I don't. <laughs> Um, but, oh, it's in a bag anyway. Oh, it's not all in a bag. Polar bear. Who got me a polar bear? Who got me a polar bear? I will find out shortly, hopefully. Oh, it's from G. Oh, G. G got me a polar bear. <laughs> Um, and the gift note gives away what's in this bag, but, oh, that box is beautiful. <gasps> the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook. So this is another Oracle deck. G is big into Oracle decks, tarot decks, all of those sorts of things. Um, and I think she's where I first got my interest from it to start with, to be fair. Um, but G said, I thought I'll feed your oracle love now that you're joining me on this side. I hope you don't have this one yet. Plus a polar bear for a helper during Polathon. I do not have this one yet. This is only my third deck. Um, I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much, G. Oh, and it's all different animals. I can't wait to get to know this deck. Have a flip through the cards. Oh, this is really exciting. Thank you so much. You're the best. I love you. Uh, let's go for some of these bags. This is from CC. Another thing to make you smile from CC. CC, you've already done too much. Oh, I am excited by this though. Um, the gift note must have been in the box that Jake must have thrown away. 
straps. Oh no, did he put it in here? Oh, he's put it in here. The gift note is here as well. Um, but we've got Winter House Mysteries. Um, this is another one of those hardbacks where you can like spy through the windows and then you open it and it's the naked hardcover. Oh, I love it. I love the Winter House hardbacks, they're so cute. This is book three in the Winter House series, so I reckon book two is probably in here somewhere. Um, but yeah, book three in the Winter House Mysteries, which is the sequel to Winter House, which I read for Middle Grade Monthly not that long ago. Thank you very much, Cece, and stop spoiling me. <laughs> Let's go for this one, which is from Cece. <laughs> wanted to send you something to make you smile. Were these not Christmas presents? Were these like before Christmas and I just threw them under the tree anyway? Cece, let me know if that's what's happened here or if you've just gone overboard for Christmas. Either way, you do too much for me, but I do appreciate you endlessly for everything you do. Ah, Winter House 2. So they probably came together. <laughs> Um, oh, and the gift note in here as well, um, something to make you smile. And again, it's one of the hardbacks where you can see through the windows and then you open the windows and there's the naked hardback. Oh no, the dust jacket's ripped. Oh no, it'll be okay. But yeah, the naked hardback, it's beautiful. So yeah, this is book two in the Winter House trilogy, so. I have them all and they're beautiful. Thank you so much, Cece. What have we got here? Um, from Auslog, thank you. Merry Christmas. I can't get into these bags. They tie them up so tightly. Oh, this one's in paper. Oh, and the envelope is here. Um, I don't know why I expect the note to say different to the tag, but it, it just says Merry Christmas from Auslog. So thank you so much. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Nordic Tales. Folklore from Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland and Denmark. Oh, it's all in illustrations. I'm really excited by this. Oh, and there's a ribbon bookmark as well. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you so much, Auslaug. Another little bag from Sissy. <laughs> Surprise! Like you didn't know. Okay. Do I know what this is? Oh, I didn't know this was coming, or was I just supposed to know that it was from you, Cece? Um, but it is Blood of Assassins by RJ Barker. Is this book two? This is book two in the, um, what's it called? The Wounded Kingdom. I can't remember the name of the first one, but I'm assuming the first one is in here somewhere. Um, but RJ Barker is the author of the Tide Child trilogy, which I'm really excited about reading and I wanted to pick up more from them because I just feel like I'm gonna really like it. I, f I just have a vibe. I feel like I'm gonna really like RJ Barker. I hope so anyway. But yeah, this is part of their other series, uh, The Wounded Kingdom. And again, epic adult fantasy, political stuff. Um, and thank you so much, Cece for the gift. You spoil me. <laughs> Next, nearly threw that at my face. Oh, that didn't work. Boom. Oh yeah. This is another chunker. This is The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. And this is from Harriet. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a good Christmas. I recently bought this myself. Maybe we can buddy read it sometime. Thank you for your videos from Harriet. Harriet, thank you so much. I would love to buddy read it with you because it's a chunker. I'm probably going to need some assistance. <laughs> um, but again, chunky, massive, adult fantasy, where my heart is just sending me. Uh, destiny calls and a journey begins. I've heard great things about this, so yeah. And Harriet, we should definitely buddy read it. I am down. Ugh. Ha 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 ha. We have got Caroline. Oh, oh, as I didn't put a gift note with the other one. Thank you for everything. Oh, because the other one just says, enjoy your gift note. Okay. Enjoy your gift note, enjoy your gift. It's the default one. Thank you, Caroline. That really confused me for a minute because there's so much paper. Um, but Caroline has gifted me 
King of Assassins by R.J. Barker, which is book three in the Wounded Kingdom trilogy. So book one will probably be in here somewhere, um, but book three in that trilogy. Thank you so much, Caroline. I'm really excited about reading R.J. Barker. Um, and also Lumberjanes volume 19, which is one away from the end. I think volume 20 is the last one. So I'm excited to continue and finish this series that feels like it's been going on forever. Um, thank you so much, Caroline, for growing my Lumberjanes collection. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm very excited about this book. This is from Rebecca. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Uh, Merry Christmas. Hope you have an amazing Christmas and New Year. Love from Bex. Thank you so much. And it is The Wolf and the Whale. In the Whale, sorry, not and the Whale. The Wolf in the Whale. I heard about this years ago from Jess, from Jess Nevertheless, who read it and loved it. And I had been like meaning to pick it up for ages. And I just, it just kept slipping my mind. And then I saw it in my Amazon recommendations and was like, oh, wish list. There is a very old story rarely told of a wolf that runs into the ocean and becomes a whale. Polar fantasy, Polar adventure, icy adventure, icy settings, gods, Viking warriors, conflict, world shattering. I'm really excited about this. Would, I would love to read it for Polarthon, but I think it's a little bit chunky considering I like to do a book a day for Polarthon. But Bex, thank you so much for this one. I've been so eager for such a long time. Ah, thank you. Oh, there's a couple in here. We have sour watermelon candy kittens. I am wanting to eat them. Um, where? No notes. There's no note with this one, which really upsets me because we've got some Sebastian de Castell. It's not falling out anywhere. There is no gift note with this, but we've got Sebastian de Castell's short stories, Tales of the Great Coats. I love the Great Coats. We know this. These short stories are really good, okay? I've already read them. <laughs> I love that this exists and can go on my Great Coats shelf and oh, I'm so grateful to whoever this was for this and the sweets, but also Fern Cotton's Happy. Um, finding joy in every day and letting go of perfect. Um, and this is Fern Cotton's like self-help book, I believe. Oh, it's actually interactive. Like you do things in it as well. This could be really interesting. This wasn't on my wish list. So this is someone, oh, this is why it's annoying me that I don't know who this is from because this is such a thoughtful thing to have added to this that I haven't asked for myself. But thank you so much to whoever you are. Please let me know who you are. I am gonna ask on my Discord if I can find out who it is. And if I do, I will put it here. Thank you to whoever is here. If it's here, if it's not here, please let me know if it was you because this is such a thoughtful thing to have added. And I'm really excited to have a look through and see what the activities and stuff are. Thank you so much. And for my man. Oh, let's go for this massive one. Oh, oh, we've got Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. Oh, oh, and note, note. Claire, Merry Christmas. I uh, hope you enjoy this bit of Brandy Sandy from Claire. I do like me some Brandy Sandy and I have read the previous two they're just here. Um, so thank you for the last, not the last book, not the last book, the third book in the Skyward series from Brandy Sandy. I am looking forward to reading that. Thank you so much, Claire. But that's not all because Claire sees the cover. Ooh, that looks like a dragon. Jade loves dragons. Buys immediately for Jade. <laughs> Merry Christmas from Claire. Thank you so much, Claire, because that is an amazing story of why you purchased this but The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. I want to read more John Gwynn and the sequel's cover was revealed with the big wolf and oh my god looked gorgeous and I wanted to read this series anyway but I wanted to wait until I had read the uh, Malice series. It's just so pretty. Masterfully crafted and brutally compelling. 
Sounds right up my street. I think I'm gonna really love this. So thank you so much, Claire, for both of these beautiful books. Thank you so much and Merry Christmas to you. Oh, oh no, it was all going so well. We have the shadow of what was lost. It's a duplicate. I thought Amazon had sorted this issue, um, but funnily enough, this one's from Erin and Erin said, I need some motivation to pick this up myself. So hopefully if you do, I will pick it up as well. So if we combine Harriet saying, um, I bought this myself, maybe we could buddy read it, with Aaron also saying, if you read it, I'll read it as well. Do we do bulk buddy read? I think we do bulk buddy read. Thank you, Aaron, for the gift. I appreciate it very much, but I'm definitely thinking a bulk buddy read is in order. Let's go for this one. Merry Christmas, now you have no reason not to start your cooking channel. Um, not sure if everything will come together, but keep an eye out for a big box, couldn't resist, some assembly will be required. The big box did come, assembly was required, and it was a bookshelf. Um, if you've seen my bookshelf reorganisation video that went up a few days back, it was dedicated to Lauren because Lauren sent me a bookshelf. But not only did Lauren send me a bookshelf, she's also sent me the Clever Fox recipe book because if you're one of my patrons, you may know I'm starting doing cooking content on Patreon because whenever I make food in vlogs or I'm eating something in a live show, people ask me about my food. <laughs> um, so we're going on a cooking journey together on Patreon. Um, so thank you, Lauren, for that. It's going to be nice to be able to jot down some of the recipes that just fly around in my head. Um, but that's not all. Uh, this one doesn't have a separate gift note, but also Celtic Tales, which matches the Nordic Tales one. Fairy tales and stories of enchantment from Ireland, Scotland, Brittany and Wales. Beautiful book again, and it's, yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous. I can't wait to read these. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Lauren. You have definitely spoiled me because you sent me a freaking bookshelf. Let's go for this one. That just popped open. Ooh, ooh, who are these from? Uh, Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoy the series. Uh, this is my first year on your Patreon and I love it. Thank you so much, Sydney. I'm so glad. Um, and Sydney has sent me The Obelisk Gate and The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemison. I have recently been reading um, the fifth season and surprisingly really enjoyed it. I say surprisingly because I've heard very mixed things. Some people really love it, some people really don't. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so the sequels to that, that I will also hopefully really enjoy. Thank you so much, Sydney, for both of them finishing out the trilogy for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's go for this one. Bye. Erin's luck is really bad. Why is Erin's luck so bad? <laughs> and in a row. Goodness me, Erin. <laughs> I can message you to get this sorted as well. Thank you so much, Erin, again, for the duplicate of these books. I don't know what's going on, but I am gonna reach out to all of you and get this sorted. Why does this always happen? Ah. Um, but I appreciate it so very much. And as I say, I am excited to continue this series. So thank you. Ooh, ooh. This is adorable. Who is this from? This is from Marie. Happy Christmas, hope it gets to you in time. It absolutely did. This is East of the Sun, West of the Moon, Tales from the Wild by Jackie Morris. It's tiny. I didn't expect it to be so tiny. This is just East of the Sun, West of the Moon. I'm not sure why it says Tales from the Wild then. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is a retelling of East of the Sun, West of the Moon, but like a very, a very, uh, classic retelling like it's the classic story um and it's illustrated as well let me typically not be able to find an illustration there we go there's a big illustration um i'm so excited to read this it is no secret that i love east of the sun west of the moon that illustration was beautiful 
I'm so excited to read this, like, classic edition. This is definitely going to be a Polarthon read. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Marie, for this. I am thrilled. Thank you. What do we have? Hey, Age of Assassins. This is the first one in that trilogy from RJ Barker. And it's from Tracy. Thank you so much, Tracy, for Age of Assassins by RJ Barker. I now have two full RJ Barker trilogies and I haven't read anything from RJ Barker. So I'm really excited to do that. But thank you so much, Tracy, for this one. I'm, I just, I have a vibe. I have a feeling I'm going to really like this. So thank you so much. This is the last book-shaped package. Oh, and it's in a bag. It is from Kendra. Thank you so much, Kendra. Ooh. The Ninth Rain by Jen Williams. This is one that has been recommended to me, like, on... Amazon, like in the Amazon recommendations, so many times. And I finally actually looked at what it is and was like, oh yeah, actually, I really like that. There's an explorer being stalked by wolves, an offer of employment, um, being joined by a fugitive witch with a, with a tendency to set things on fire, uh, to face down monsters and retrieve artifacts. Um, not everyone's willing to let the empire collapse, and the adventurers are soon drawn into a tangled conspiracy of magic and raw and war. Raw magic and raw adventurers, magic, war, a witch with a tendency to set things on fire. Sounds like a good time. Um, so thank you so much, Kendra, for this one. Also, kind of floppy. I am such a lucky duck, honestly, to have all of you lovely people. And there's more. So we'll just keep going, but I'm gonna need some scissors. Ooh, ooh. It's three books. It is the Half a King, Half a War, Half the World, um, Shattered Sea trilogy from Joe Abercrombie. These covers are beautiful. Um, I recently found out that the um, first one is polar fantasy-ish, or wintry at least. Um, oh, and I was gonna say, and I found out, from Cassidy. Cassidy. Just wanted to say thank you so much for being an amazing and incredible human being. I'm looking forward to getting to know you more in the coming year. Happy holidays, Jade. Keep being you, because you're perfect from Cassidy. Cassidy! Thank you so much. I love Cass. Cass is... I gave Cass a shout out recently, and she freaked out, so I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Um, thank you so much, Cassidy. I, I'm really excited to read these after discovering from you about Half a King. So, this is just perfect. Thank you so much. And now we'll move on to non-Amazon boxes. So I've got a couple of recycled fairy loot boxes. So let's dive into one of them. To Jade. This is from Gavin. To Jade, my queen, my everything. I hope you have an incredible Christmas. Love you and miss you already from Gav. Gavin. That is a beautiful card as well. Can we acknowledge? Gorgeous. 20 stones what? 20 stones water stones. 20 pound water stones gift card. You spoil me. Um, a Lindor chocolate. The best chocolate. You can see a half eaten box down there. Oh. I love you. <laughs> the Perfect Poo. Um, a fiery fecal romance. Um, I can't wait to read this. Thank you so much, Gavin. You are an arsehole. <laughs> I'm not, not going to talk about it. <laughs> and I see Tom Nook's face. Let me in. Oh my god. Tom Nook's face. It is a mug, coaster, and keychain. It's a Nook Ink coaster and a Nook Ink keychain and a mug with Tom Nook's face on it because I'm an Animal Crossing nerd. This is so cute. Thank you so much, Gavin. I love it. You spoil me. I can't believe you've done this. Um, oh, and also a Carl James Mountford bookmark. Always a winner. You know what? I'm going to pop that in the perfect poo ready for me to read this we then have this one this person's used a lot of tape 
is there something smelly in here? Like in a good way, smelly, not not in a bad way. Come on, hey, I'm in. I'm in. Ooh, we've got Lush. Who is this from? There's lots of individually wrapped presents. Lots of individually wrapped presents. Who is this from? Who are you? I'm gonna get creative to find out where this has come from. I think it's Cody. I feel like it's Cody. From my deciphering of the previous address label that's been covered up, scribbled out, and taped over, I think that says Cody. So I think this is from Cody? <laughs> I'm just gonna open them and assume Cody. Um, so first up is a little Lush set, which would also make sense to come from Cody because she knows what I like. And then we've got... Oh! Socks! Who doesn't love socks for Christmas? Because I certainly do. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Holy shit! Holy... Oh my god! Uh, me being all like, I love socks. I would be happy with just socks. And then noticing that they're Howl's Moving Castle socks. Kiki's Delivery Service socks. My Neighbour Totoro socks. Spirited Away socks. Oh my god. I've got goosebumps over socks. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I need to message Cody. I can't believe this. Right. Confirmation it is Cody. Right. So the socks are a lot. And then this second one is a little polar bear pot. I... <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. So much. And then this one is the, as I say, the Lush set. I think it's the, is it the sleepy one? I'm having a moment over the socks, in all honesty. Twilight bath bomb and sleepy bear bath bomb. And she knows I love some Lush. Um, there's more. It keeps coming. I I haven't done enough for Cody. Ooh, candles. Oh, that smells delicious. I love it. That smells amazing. Oh. Yes, Isle of Sky Candle Company, Heather and Wild Berries. Handmade in Scotland. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Cody. And then we've got this. Fudge? Fudge? Is this fudge? A piece of me is like, is this soap? A piece of me is thinking, is this fudge? Fudge kitchen. It would make sense if this was fudge. Oh, oh my god, because she knows I love fudge. Yeah, that's definitely not soap. <laughs> oh my god, I love fudge. Oh my god, it's delicious. Oh, thank you so much, Cody. And there's something else as well. <gasps> ah... Crystals! Cody! Oh my god! I, I, um, I am blown away and also ashamed. This is incredible. Cody, you are amazing. And I love you. Right, Cody has well and truly spoiled me. And I am beyond grateful for that. I've been so spoiled by my friends. Right, and then we have the Becca box as well. Gifts just keep on giving, don't they? Very cute wrapping paper. Ah, it's a Studio Ghibli um, soot spray bookmark. Finish what you started, human, from uh, Spirit Away. Oh my god, my friends know me so well. Oh, Animal Crossing! Oh my goodness! Adorable Animal Crossing earrings, a little present and fossil and the little leaf. 
and it has a little sticker that's come with it as well. They are adorable and I love them. Oh my god, Becca. I'm getting emotional. Ah! It's a ghost! It's a ghost! Oh my goodness! The York Ghost Merchant. This... Oh my god. And it's orange! Becca! Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. I love the look of the York Ghost Merchant and all of the little ghosties. I love it so much. You are going to live just there. I love it so much. And then we have a bumblebee box. And I don't know what's in the bumblebee box. What is it? Oh, It's a little beehive. And seed balls. Oh my god. This is so cute. Everyone knows I love bees, right? It's a little beehive. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you so much, Becca. My friends are the best. And now the last one I have here is this bag from Steph. So, you know, let's just cry some more. Number one is chicken soup. <laughs> it's a big bar of chocolate. She told me that was in there because it was gonna melt. <laughs> Um, so thank you for that, Fanny. And what do we have? Merry Christmas! Aww. Oh, is it a tote bag? It's a tote bag that says, let it be, because my friends know I'm obsessed with bumblebees. Oh my god, a bee blanket. Oh, I am in awe. Don't know what this is. Oh my goodness. It's a bumblebee bookmark. Oh, so it's like a ribbon bookmark with a little bumble on top. Oh, that's adorable. I can see that Steph's gone with a theme here. What have we got here? <laughs> to be continued. A bee bookmark. It's got my name on it too. Funny! Yorkshire beeswax candle. Is there a candle? Is that what this is? Oh no, that's a bath bomb. That's a bath bomb. <laughs> that smells delicious. Um, oh, is that what this is maybe? Yes, it is. Oh, they're like little beehives. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. And then we have a crystal. Ooh, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. What is that? I don't know what that is, but it's gorgeous. It's like a greeny, bluey, purple. That's stunning, and I love it. Thank you, Stephanie. And, um, dolphins. I can fill up my dolphin tub. <laughs> oh my good gosh. Spoiled. Absolutely spoiled. And a little card as well. This is really soft. Oh my god, Steph clearly went for a bumblebee theme with a crystal and a bath bomb. Oh my goodness, I've been so spoiled by everybody. Everybody. I am overwhelmed. My friends are the best and I love them all very dearly. I am surrounded by rubbish now and I am a very happy bunny. Um, so thank you very much to everyone who gifted me anything. I'm gonna go and message a load of people and squeal. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this hasn't been too long. We'll see if I can edit it down to a reasonable time. But thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and just general holiday season if you don't celebrate. But I hope you're having a great day. And um, 
yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.